So Attack the Block is, as I said, an international release. Uh, it's by British people and directed <laughs> by Joe Cornish. Uh, what else did Joe Cornish do? He's a main uh, collaborator with Edgar Wright, usually, for Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and the TV ah, show Space. There we go. So he was a co-writer on a lot of that stuff. So uh, this is about a bunch of hooligans, <laughs> a bunch of you know, streetwise children who live in the ghetto part of London, and they're causing mischief and up to no good. Uh, they, they're mugging another the main character who's a, a, a nice woman who just happens to live in their neighborhood that mm -hmm. is in the wrong place at the wrong time. And they're just being kids and they mug her. And while this is happening, a giant explosion happens in the car next to him because a meteor just crashed. <laughs> and the main gangster gets wounded by the alien that jumps out of it. And so they go on a twisted revenge-seeking <laughs> mission to fight the alien, and they win. <laughs> and then all of its buddies show up. <laughs> <laughs> and they then spend the next hour and a half trying to survive while the big brothers are chasing them down <laughs> and trying to kill them. It is a fantastic alien movie. Um, mm -hmm. I really loved it. The aliens in it are awesome. They're yeah. just these mis there's these fuzzy black things that have like no dimension to them with neon teeth. <laughs> they're like black lights coming out of their mouth and they're <laughs> probably the best aliens I've seen in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, but the kids are all, yeah, they, they've, each one's, you know, got, it's very Goonies, you know, they've got their, all their little unique personalities, but you know, they're all tough. So, you know, they all carry knives and cuss and stuff. Yeah, so yeah. It's not family Goonies. This is definitely <laughs> not a, a family movie, but. Uh, and they, you know, they get a ninja sword to fight them. And, you know, they're <laughs> really outlandish, and it's very, it's very geeky. It's, yeah, it's it's like Training Day if it was written by a bunch of comedic geeks. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're trying to be really streetwise. So I could, you know, you can't take it serious, but it's. But that's sort of the point. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. But it's fun. It's an alien. It's gangster kids fighting aliens. I mean, <laughs> it's really fun. Um, the cinematography is good. I mean, it's British, so it's got that little British twinge to it where you mm. kind of go, oh, well, this is BBC. <laughs> I don't know. They tend to, like, the Doctor Who's, everything British, you can just tell. They have a very yeah, different a cinematography look. and stuff. Yeah. Um, which, it's great. Um, the fight scenes are good. The suspense is good. Uh, there's a couple, you know, cliche stuff where they're walking through mist and you're like, oh. But um, <laughs> the best thing is, yeah, it's child, you know, they're all child actors, but they get killed. You know, it's yeah. really interesting when you have a movie where they actually kill the kids. Yeah, the, the movie does not shy away from its violence. Yeah, it's just blood, gore everywhere. Uh, and I loved it. Uh, definitely gave it an A-. A minus. A minus. I, I will match your A minus. I, I liked it a lot, too. I think it's actually one of the funner uh, creature features we've seen in a while. It kind of reminded me of sort of old school throwback to like uh, 80s Joe Dante type stuff like uh, Gremlins and the Howling and, the, and the, his type of uh, aesthetic or it's sort of comedic but sort of scary but kind of bounces back and forth um, and uh, the, the unique British flavor of it I, I will say if you're an American you're gonna want those subtitles yeah uh, not even these, those these kids speak in a very specific street slang for that they, there's the no place. connecting words. It's all nouns. Yeah. They speak in nouns. <laughs> it's tough. It, it's that it's that uh, that Chav language, which is a, a kind of a combination of Jamaican, Cockney, and uh, Brit, uh, gangster wannabe, like all mixed in <laughs> together. And it it will help to have the subtitles. But I found it really entertaining. I love the cast. I love, like you said, the unique personalities. Every uh, all the characters are developed. And you get to know them individually, so it does matter if one dies or yeah. if one gets hurt or damaged or something like that. And it's just, it's just a lot of fun. It's, uh, it has that, that, that same kind of quality that the Edgar Wright stuff has, so, like Shaun of the Dead, yeah. where they can, they're kind of poking fun at the genre, but like honoring the genre at the same time. So, uh -oh. <laughs> Our audience is angry with us. <laughs> I don't think your baby agrees with me. <laughs> Apparently not. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm giving in A minus. A minus, excellent. Those are. Okay. I think they kind of ripped off Little Rascals too, though. Uh, there's these two little extras.